I hope you guys like my shirt. Would you just look at it? I want to talk to y'all about something. I ain't made a video like this in a while, okay? You know what rubs me the wrong way? And I'm not saying I'm pissed off or I'm ticked, but I got to talk about this. This does rub me the wrong way, okay? I was at the gas station last week because, you know, I needed some air in my tire. The same gas station I always go to to air up my tire. Some air in my tire. But the hose is gone. I'm like, that's weird. So as I'm about to go inside and ask about it, there's a box outside the door with a brand new machine hooked up. I'm like, oh, okay. They're going down that road. So I go inside and ask them about it. I was like, uh, are y'all charging people for air now? And they say, yeah, because when the air was free, people kept stealing the chuck off the dang on hose. So I'm thinking, how do you steal? How are you stealing something that's already free? Y'all stealing the nozzle so people can't even air up their own tires anymore. All you have to do is go up to the gas station and air it up for free. And you can't even do that anymore because people are stealing the chuck off the thing. It's just mind blowing to me. Like, So now, here's the kicker. You're going to love this. So now we have to pay for air. Because these idiots are stealing stuff. That's just ridiculous to me. Like, we can't even have air anymore. How do you charge for air? Air! I'm telling you, it's because these criminals are lawless. Check this out. I just left GameStop just now. And this guy is telling me that the other GameStop where I live, people are stealing Pokemon cards. I'm like, who steals Pokemon cards? Pokemon cards have been around for 30 years. And he's like, yeah, but now all of a sudden they're really popular again. I said, oh, is that why that shelf right there is empty? He's like, yep. That's why. This is sad. You... I was talking to him about when I was in my early 20s because I was actually going up there for the new Spider-Man game to pre-order it. So we get to talking about that. I said, do y'all still do the midnight releases? And he said, we won't know until like two or three days prior to release. I said, oh, okay, because they used to advertise that stuff so you would know to come in before midnight and there was a long line of people outside the GameStop and it was fun kind of like the midnight release for the movie theater I said whereas now when it comes to the movies they don't do that anymore they do it for like 10 10 30 because they don't want people out too late because it's too dangerous but my point was why can't we just have fun anymore it's because these dang criminals you can't even go to a midnight release for a dang movie or a dang video game because you know the place is going to get shot up or people are going to be fighting. First of all, who fights over video games and movies? But I remember, you remember the Batman killer and what was it, Colorado? I remember when that crap happened. So you really just can't go anywhere. You can't do anything fun. Don't even get me started. You can't go to church anymore. You can't go to the movies anymore. You can't go to the schools anymore. You just can't go anywhere. Nowhere is safe. I mean, you can't even go to GameStop without people stealing Pokemon cards. Because when I was a kid growing up, they didn't even have all that. They just had strictly games and, you know, consoles, controllers. And I remember later on they had DVDs. And games were like 20, 30, 40 bucks at the most. You know, PS2, Xbox. But we weren't even thinking about stealing games. 
But now, supposedly, and the guy, he told me that they had stolen $600 worth of Pokemon cards. But who thinks to steal that much money worth of cards? Like, if somebody stole back when I was a kid, for one, it was like a shameful thing or an unknown thing. But if you did, and I'm not promoting theft, if you did, you steal maybe like one or two cards, like one little pack of cards. But for someone to be so bold as to steal $600 worth of cards, that's like stealing two PlayStations. Well, now the PlayStation is so expensive. It's like stealing a PS5 today. It's just crazy, man. Like, people need to stop this mess. Because, and I told the guy, I said, when GameStop closes down, they're going to say, well, where am I supposed to get my games? You're going to have to go online, you idiot. But back to GameStop, now they got toys, they got backpacks, they got PVCs, you know, collectibles, statues, they got clothing, t-shirts, they got a lot more than just games, that's where I was going with that. So, these criminals think, oh, okay, cool. If they got more than just games, I'm going to steal everything I can get my hands on. But I don't remember people stealing games when I was a kid. But now they want to steal everything else. And we're talking about Pokemon, man. Pokemon gamers, people who play Magic or Yu-Gi-Oh! Those people ain't stealing cards. These are people who, I guarantee you, these people are stealing cards, put them on eBay or Amazon or whatever, just to make profit. Instead of just getting a job and buying your own gosh dang cards. <laughs> Think about that. It's like when people steal shoes. You ever hear about the shoe th- thieves, shoe theft? People will steal cards. Co- not cards. People will steal shoes just to turn around and sell them for double the profit. Thanks, Michael Jordan. I know it ain't his fault. I'm just saying. <sighs> that rubs me the wrong way. All right. Peace.